Bubble Cloud widgets received yet another big update. Now we can add clock bubbles. I also improved the bubble folders and the overall compatibility with misbehaving launchers. The quickest way to add a bubble clock is to create a widget the usual way. Choose from a hundred different analog and digital themes available from free and paid theme packs. We'll pick this and simply click the check mark. And that's it. So we can have a dedicated clock widget, but it can also be part of a cloud of bubbles. Double tap to customize this. Let's first choose this bolt icon pack, then use the yellow plus sign to add a few bubbles. Sorting alphabetically helps you find the bubbles you want. You can also search at the bottom of the screen or long press bubbles to see their names. The clock will be the main bubble, which means it will stay to be the biggest and take the main place in the cloud, even as we resize the widget or change the cloud layout. No matter how we arrange the cloud, this clock bubble looks very much out of place, don't you think? We can change it. Notice the theme chooser is still available, but when we pick a theme now, we can also choose which part of it we want to use. I mark the clock hands from this theme and press apply. From another theme, we take the dial, but notice it's not the right color. I'm using the brightness control to make these dial dots white. We are getting there, but what about the background texture? Well, we have a lot of options for that. For those, we click on the preview. Here we can customize the three layers of the clock bubble. When I tap the backdrop, I can choose an, any icon from the active icon pack. Let's search for a cool image for the clock. Another option is to use part of any of my own images via the import image button at the bottom. Do you want a Death Star clock? You can crop a circular or even square part of it. I left the best for last though. If the icon pack has masking information for missing icons, that same masking can be applied to the clock bubble. This way the clock bubble will fit perfectly with any icon pack. And there is more. I show you how to add a date bubble now. We can have only one main clock but we can add as many date time bubbles to the cloud as we wish using the floating action button. The system is exactly the same. We choose an initial theme, then we can modify it to match the style of our bubble cloud. Since this bubble has text, we can customize it too using the time date format button. This is where you can change what is shown in the three text areas of the bubble. The bottom part of the screen provides controls for color, size and font style. The newly added date bubble blends into the cloud so well, I dare you to spot it. Okay, it's here. Time to move the widget on a new page where we have space for it to expand more. One final touch. Let's use the swap tool to move the date to the middle. Great. I promised you folder improvements in the beginning. Let me set this up. What if you'd like a cleaner home screen with Bubble Cloud as a pop-up folder instead? Even though I removed the widget, when prompted, I choose to save the orphan cloud for later use. Bubble Cloud folders are created in a similar manner to widgets, but after I drag the folder icon to its position on the screen, I now get to specify the icon. Just as before, we could crop from any image in our gallery, but I would just use the drawer icon from this pack. The very first time I press this shortcut, I will be prompted to either create a Bubble Cloud from scratch or restore the one we've just removed. By the way, this is the way you can update the folder icon later. Just 
remove the old one, place a new, and restore the clap to it. One last important addition in this release. If your launcher doesn't show the bubbles correctly, there is now a new way to calibrate your launcher. For the example's sake, I now switch to the notorious Microsoft launcher. The world of launchers on Android is still much like the Wild West. Few launchers are fully compatible with the specifications and if the launcher reports the wrong size to Bubble Cloud, the bubbles in the widget will appear distorted or not even at all. The cloud appears, but with a lot of layout issues. Look at the text in the date bubble or the increased space between the bubbles. Now we can fix it. Triple tap on the widget to get to the cloud configuration screen where we use this repair tool and the calibrate launcher button. The dark rectangle in this special view shows us what the widget shape should be and the lighter rectangle shows what the launcher is actually reporting. Notice how different these two shapes are. The launcher is reporting the wrong dimensions. But as we use the gray arrows to move the yellow puzzle piece over the black one, the light rectangle will eventually cover the dark. We are aiming to match the two rectangles as perfectly as possible. The Opposite arrows move different amounts, so you can press several times for fine adjustment. Very, very important. If you cannot match the two rectangles perfectly, it's better to have a little bit of the dark rectangle than the light one. A thin dark frame is okay, but make absolutely sure not to have any light frame left. Good news, this only needs to be done once and all your current and future bubble clouds will appear flawlessly. Please support this project by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I started to work on this app in 2014. After six years, I'm still adding major functionality, as you can see. If you haven't yet, please balance out the recent flood of negativity in the Play Store reviews with your five-star rating. Thank you for all your support and keep enjoying the bubble clouds.